Target Motion Analysis, or TMA, refers to the use of patterns in lines of sound to help determine the location and course of a detected submarine. Ships using passive sonar tow a line of hydrophones to pick up the sounds of submarines and other undersea sound emitters. As passive sonar detects the sounds of a submarine, bearing lines can be drawn toward that sound. There is an ambiguity. Either of two bearing lines is possible. Passive sonar can't tell whether the contact is to port or to starboard. However, if the ship makes a slight change of course, one of the bearing lines, here the one to starboard, will undergo a large change. No submarine could move so far so fast. And when the ship returns to course, the starboard side contact has suddenly moved backward. Small changes in course help to clarify which side of your ship the contact is on. To simplify examples of target motion analysis, the TAO sandbox shows bearing lines only on the actual contact side. When you see a set of parallel lines of sound, what should you suspect about the relative motion of the target submarine? Using the TAO sandbox in problem mode, you can't see the submarine, so you have to guess at its course and location using patterns in lines of sound and other evidence. Here we set the frigate's intervals for lines of sound to two minutes. Then we turn on passive sonar, set the clock to warp speed, and start time. At first, we might think that we're tracking the sub on a parallel course and at the same speed ahead of us on our starboard side. But what's this? When the lines of sound suddenly diverge and then appear on the port side, we realize that the sub probably crossed directly under our ship. The red square is a surface contact that's plotted when the sub raises periscope within surface radar range or visual range of our ship. You can get a clearer understanding of lines of sound patterns using instructor mode in the sandbox. It's often useful to give your ships a large passive sonar range. You access this control by clicking on the value in the mission info window. After adjusting sensor ranges to optimize LOS patterns, dismiss it. Set the clock to warp speed, start passive sonar, and start time. If the submarine were stationary, it would be at the point where the lines of sound intersect. But that point is beyond the range of our passive sonar, so we know that the sub must be closer to our ship than that and traveling roughly in the same direction that we are. What pattern would we see if a submarine were traveling on a parallel course in the opposite direction? The pattern is similar, but the lines fan out more and there are fewer of them. The point of intersection is within range, so the sub could be stationary there. In this case, however, it is a little further away and it's traveling in the opposite direction. What would happen if the sub traveled in the same direction as our ship at the same rate of speed? Let's grab the end of the sub's bearing line and drag it out to 14 knots. Then we start time and observe that we do indeed see parallel lines of sound. We can find out what pattern would be observed if the sub were on an intersecting but trailing course to our ship's course. Note that the lines of sound do not all intersect at the same point. What pattern is observed if the ship and sub are on orthogonally converging courses? At first, it looks something like the parallel courses case. But then, there's a sudden divergence as the sub passes beneath our ship. You can experiment with sonar targets that are on courses that are changing. More than one target can be detected. When a ship trailing a passive sonar array makes a turn, Ordinarily, the array has to straighten out before it can make reliable detections. For that reason, the TAO sandbox does not generate lines of sound during and immediately after a turn. Experiment. Find your own patterns in lines of sound.